Hello from Chination.com, this is Mark Chelsea. Today I would like to do a little video on this uh, pistol here. This is a paintball pistol. The Tiberius T8.1 and with uh, nickel plated or color plated slide. It looks so badass just for the slide itself. Very cool. And the most uh, important thing about this paintball pistol is that it shoots in 0.68 cal balls and also the first strike round. So the first thing I do is press the mag release right here and it, it's a mag uh, feeding, feeding paintball pistol. So it's pretty cool, realistic. The CO2 is also inside the mag. Okay. The gun itself, the lower portion, the lower frame is plastic and it feels pretty good in hand. Even though it looks bulky, it feels very uh, well balanced. The slide is fully made of metal. Right here, this is the very tricky part, I'll show you later on. Iron sight, okay, black iron sight. And here you can still see through this hole and see if you have paintball inside. To take the barrel out, you push and turn. Okay, push and turn. Oops, sorry. Need to take out this first. There we go. And there it goes. You can clean the barrel. The barrel is also the breech. So if anything jams, it jams inside here and not inside the gun. So that's the good part of it. And then you got a spring here as well. Okay, so put the spring back. Very easy. Then put your thing back. There's only one way that you can put it back and you can't go wrong with it. Very cool design. So it's very big, bore, like that. Mm -hmm. It looks very badass and there's a safety here that can be accessed from both sides. See? You can also access it here. See? And the gun comes with a little rail thing at attached to here which I don't like to put it on, uh, but you can put that on and mount your pistol, laser, or whatever. You cannot rack the slide, okay? This is not a blowback pistol kind of thing. And one thing I realized that what's so fun about this pistol is right here, this is the velocity adjustment screw. You can adjust it by tightening it into the screw and get higher FPS and then go out, like loosen it up to get lower FPS. Lower FPS, more shots per CO2. High FPS, less shot per CO2, but more power. So choose your own settings. And inside here, and this screw, when I first got the, uh, the gun out of the box, it leaks. That's the scary part. And turn out that the stuff inside is not tightened all the way enough. So I have to use the Allen wrench uh, to unscrew things and then tighten it back again, and then it works now. So it's kind of scary when I get a new gun and it doesn't work. The good thing about this gun is it comes with a uh, case, a gun case, hard shell case like this. Okay, when you open it up, there's the manual, uh, which doesn't tell you much, and a warranty card, something like that. Okay, and then there's a little pouch here, a little pouch for storing your accessories and so on, and it comes with a few Allen keys. Uh, the rail, okay, this is the rail, and also a spring for the first strike round. The barrel itself can fire first strike round, but you need the spring to load it into the magazine to swap out that uh, old magazine you got there to fire first strike round. So this is the first strike round. Comes in a box of a hundred, and it's uh, very extremely cool. Because you never see paintball and it's not a ball shape. Looks like that. Okay. This is the first strike round. And it's very hard, plastic sticky kind of feeling. It comes in a bag. Oh. Okay. And also there's a single one. Uh, like this. Ten shot. Okay. And basically you have to open and load them one by one. Okay, so in this video, I'll be shooting this, of course, so let's gas it up. Okay, take out the magazine. And we'll be using Gamo CO2 or Crossman CO2. 
Okay. To power the thing up, okay, right here, you have to pull and then unscrew. This is the fun design about this, okay? Pull and unscrew. And of course, you can put some oil inside. Good for the valve, so I'll just put some oil inside. Okay. Put your steel tool in, screw, okay, screw that in tight, and gas it up. Very easy operation. And what you do is basically you snap it back and it goes back here. See? Very cool. For the spring on the magazine, you can pull it all the way down and lock it in place. It holds how many rounds? Oops. Okay. okay, I locked it in place. Today we'll be shooting this pistol with the RAV4 rubber round in 0.68 Kel. Rubber ball. Okay. You just load them from the top like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, whoo, seven, eight. Ah, eight balls. Okay. So you load eight rounds into here. Basically, that's it. Okay. Eight rounds. So let's go over to the range and we'll shoot eight rounds and see how this gun feels. I'm setting the FPS to the almost the maximum, just to, I like power. So let's take a look over there. Target, we'll be shooting it at 16 feet, standing, no rest. Okay, so snap the, uh, oops. Uh, okay, just a minute. Okay, I think it's loaded. Yeah, it's loaded. Okay, I'm so freaked out about this thing leaking today because it was leaking and freaked me out. Okay guys, now let's shoot at 15 to 16 feet. Let's take a look. Aiming the same spot all the time. Wow, it actually do kick. It has some kind of recoil there that pops up. Okay, I'm out. That is amazing. Whoa. <laughs> almost, almost all over tapping each other with one shot out right here. That's eight rounds. Okay, I'm so addicted to shooting this right now. I want to load more shots into it and shoot more. So let's take a look at how it works with cans. You need cans, you know? Uh, this kind of fun stuff. Let's try what it does to a soup can. Woo! You know, this thing is fun. And you know what guys, the fun part is you can you can uh, you can reuse the, the rubber rounds later on too. So basically it, it's so good that you can reuse the round. And now I'm loading up the mag again. Three, four, five, six round. Okay. I'll put six round into it and shoot. Okay, let's try it out. Whew. Whew. Okay guys, you gotta see this. Wow. <laughs> Whoa, this is brutal. Pain ball. Not paint ball. Pain ball. Wow, it's shooting so hard to the point that I cannot believe it's doing this kind of damage with rub around. Okay, let me just grab a bit of uh, ammo and I'll shoot more. My point right now is that I want to destroy, I want to destroy this can to the point that it's going to go through it. Okay, so let us put four rounds into it and and you know what guys the, the thing is when you load ammo into this gun uh, because the balls are so big the balls <laughs> it makes it so real feeling Woo! 
And look at that blasting power. Whoa. It's like you cannot imagine this is paintball. Whoa. I'm gonna say, whoa. <laughs> One of the most fun thing ever. You can get here the sound. It's super loud. And I think we could need to stop it right here. Okay, I'll hang this here and I'll bring you over to see it. Okay. Woo! The kind of loudness is not something you can imagine. And by doing the damage on the can like this. Whoa, that's really something. If you hit someone with a paintball like this, it's going to be really painful. Okay, I'm going to clip one of these um, pop can right here and I'm going to load up three shots again and right now I should be low on gas but I'll still shoot because you know the more power you put on these pistol uh, the less shot you get per CO2 but I'm quite fine with about like 24 rounds or so. Okay, let's try this out. Where the hell did it go? Where did it go? Oh no. You guys saw my uh, pop can? I remember. Safety off. Saw it. Blast us through the... Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Crazy shit. This is one of the most powerful air weapon I have seen with this kind of caliber. Okay guys, let's do a few more to end the CO2. Okay, I'm out, no more gas. So you guys can count. <laughs> so you guys can count how many shots I have done. But this is definitely one of the most amazing things you can see in, on my channel. Wow. And you can see I cannot, once it's out of gas, you cannot shoot anymore. So I'm done. Okay guys, so now we're done. You can see our target and our target. Okay, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.